What's up everybody Aditya Mahajan here and welcome back to yet another YouTube video. In today's video we will be solving lead code question number 667 uh, also called as beautiful arrangement 2. It has also been asked in uh, day 12 of April lead code challenge. So let's get started. Given two integers n and k, you need to construct a list which contains n different positive integers ranging from 1 to n. So here two words are important that is different and positive integers. Different means they need to be distinct and positive means we should have numbers greater than zero. Uh, and which obeys the following requirements. So suppose the list is a of 1 to a of n. Then we have a second list. Let's say it has a list of differences which gives mod of a1 minus a2 mod of a2 minus a3 mod of a3 minus a4 and so on. And this second list of mod of differences should have exactly k distinct integers so uh, also one more thing that is mentioned is if there are multiple answers then we can print any one of them so let us look at the example so first example we have n equals to 3 and k equals to 1 so and the expected output is 1 2 and 3 so if we look at uh, 1 2 and 3 this is our first list which we need to return and uh, so let's take it so this is our first list and if we uh, if we create the differences list of uh, from the first list we get uh, 1 comma 1 all right because the difference between 1 and 2 is 1 and 2 and 3 is 1 so this is for the first example so if we look for the second example we have n equal to 3 and k equal to 2 uh, and the expected output is 1 comma 3 uh, 1 comma 3 comma 2 so let's put as the expected output and the mod of differences list would be uh, first initially we would have 2 and then we would have 3 minus 2 is 1. So here we can see that the number of distinct uh, integers that are present is just 1. So uh, which was given as k equal to 1 and here we have number of distinct integers are 2 that is 2 and 1. So because we were given k equal to 2. So by taking into account these two integers n equal to 3 and k equal to 1 or whatever the input value that would be given, we need to create a list of size n such that its differences list if created would have exactly k distinct integers in it. So the first thing that comes up in our mind uh, after looking to this question is that why don't we just make the list of all the permutations that are possible from 1 to n so with that so that we get all the lists having a of 1 to a of n having the numbers 1 to n and then uh, we generate all the possible lists uh, second list of differences and then check how many distinct integers are present and then return uh, if any of the list contains k distinct integers but if you look at uh, the time complexity of it, it would basically go into uh, n factorial first thing because uh, we need to create all the possible permutations where n would be the size of how many numbers we were we will be having in the list. And also then we need to check if number of uh, there are how many distinct integers so that it would be of linear complexity. So the time complexity would go into n into n factorial which would not be very optimal. <laughs> But after thinking for a while, I did not get any intuition of how else I could solve this problem. So I went in, went into the solutions tab and of course the first solution was the brute force uh, that we just talked about which would have n into n factorial time complexity. And the second solution that they gave was about construction and which I did not understand at all uh, when I read this for the first time. But uh, afterwards, uh, it started to make a little bit of sense. So what they have basically did is they have uh, divided the complete problem into two subcases and uh, for thinking about it uh, think of it that the second list that we are generating of mod of differences uh, think of it when we have k to be maximum and k to be minimum so when we have k to be maximum that is most number of distinct integers then we would have k to be n minus 1 and the possible solution could be 1 n 2 n minus 1 3 n minus 2 and the difference between their consecutive numbers would be 1 minus uh, n minus 1 then n minus 2 then n then n minus 3 and so on okay so this was their first uh, case and the second case that with that they thought is uh, with the minimum number of distinct integers that is when k would be 1 so in this case the possible construction of our answer list would be 1 to n directly because in that case we would have a uh, difference to be 1 
so uh, the two cases that we just saw is when the difference of n minus k is tiny and when it is large okay so uh, what they are basically doing is they are taking these two cases and merging it together and uh, they are saying that first we would build uh, with considering k equal to 1 uh, half of the list up to n minus k minus 1 number of elements and after that they would build the second part of the list with the help of the first uh, first test case that we saw with maximum number of distinct integers so the solution that was basically uh, present was something like this which is exactly here but uh, i have made it a bit simpler to read so what it basically says is uh, this is creation of the first part of the list that is up to n minus k minus 1 but our starting index is v is equal to 1 so we are going till there and just adding uh, 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 n considering that we have least number of distinct integers and afterwards we are generating the second part of the list that is uh, from n minus k minus 1 to last n elements okay so in in this case we are coming up with uh, two kind of like switch cases so if uh, the current position is even in that case the element that was coming up was n minus k plus i by 2 and if uh, sorry if it was even and in the second case if it was odd it was coming up to be n minus i by 2 but uh, i did not found it very intuitive and uh, i hardly think that someone would come up with this solution when uh, it is asked during an interview so due to this solution being a bit complicated or not very intuitive, I did a bit of research and found one more solution which was a lot easier to understand. So what this solution said that uh, we could basically use two variables that is stop and the end and we could uh, add them alternatively. So let's say our list uh, for creating the list we would uh, start with the top that is 1 and then second element would be the bottom one that is n then the second number third number that would be present in the list would be the top that is incrementing that to then it would become two and go on till the end till we get k number of distinct integers and once we reach that k number of distinct integers after that we will just put the remaining elements in the increasing or decreasing order and i found this yeah this is a really simpler solution so let me show you the code for it so uh, this is the second solution that we just saw and the third solution that I just talked about is uh, thinking of two variables that is from top and bottom and creating the answer vector that we need to return. So we, are, we have just set top to 1 and bottom to n that is the last uh, element that we are supposed to fill the array with. So we will do a for loop while uh, till our bottom and the top elements do not match. So basically there we would have two, case, uh, two cases that is uh, once we would be filling the even numbers uh, whenever the position would is even we are uh, taking the top and incrementing it and uh, at the next time we will be putting the bottom one and decrementing the bottom. So that is what we are doing if we have k mod 2 equal to 1 that is total number of uh, distinct integers remaining are uh, odd in that case we are just uh, pushing the top and uh, then we are incrementing the top that is the, then in the next iteration top would become 2 and in the next it would become 3 afterwards so on and if uh, our k is even in that case we are pushing uh, pushing in the bottom and in the next uh, iteration it would become n minus 1 and so on and it does not matter that uh, we are taking the even first or odd first uh, it would also work if we put here 0 uh, it would uh, work exactly the same so uh, now the only thing that was remaining was to exit out uh, I mean before exiting to make sure that uh, whenever we are done with our number of elements uh, k distinct integers we make sure that we do not uh, add more distinct integers. So this is uh, exactly for that okay so once that is done we'll uh, end up with k being 0 once k is 0 we will either go with the top or with the bottom whatever that is present and will end out of the loop so that's it and after this loop we are have we are having the vector answer which contains the list with our uh, condition so let me just comment this first solution and then just run our method new method
okay let's use the uh, let's just submit it directly okay and you can see that it is faster than 100% and less than 28% of c++ solution so this was the method 3 which i found very easier to understand and lot more intuitive so that's all for this video guys uh, if you like the video do hit the uh, like button and if you need more such lead code questions and all do subscribe and the code link would be in the description below and that's all i'll see you in the next one bye bye